papers. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. Lily, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. So these four kittens were brought in on Friday. Their mom was sadly hit by a car and passed away. They were originally brought in um, with uh, another sibling, but he actually died within 20 minutes after he got here. Um, he was in very rough shape when they arrived. And the rest of these four were not in great shape either. They're still um, working on um, thriving but they are stable. Um, they have been gaining weight and um, three of them have been eating really well from the bottle. Um, one of them, this little black and white guy, uh, has not been interested in the bottle yet and has been tube fed each feeding, but they are fed every two to three hours and so far they're doing pretty well. Um, they did come in when they arrived. They were um, in pretty rough shape. Like I said, they were covered in their own urine. They were soaking wet, um, cold, and they do have fleas. So they'll be getting a bath today. Well, you know, get them cleaned up, hopefully get those squeeze off. And I'm gonna introduce you, they just got names last night, so I'm gonna introduce you to them. So we have our little black and white boy is Koa. It's a Hawaiian for a strong warrior. We have this little gravy boy. He's wiggly. Uh, most of his face is gray. He's got a little white chin. And his name is Kaha. So Kaha means um, strength in Maori, the language of New Zealand. And then we have our third boy as a little tuxi, little black and white tuxi. His name is Teho. Teho is a Finnish word that means power. So you might be grasping what the theme is here. We're getting very strong names, fighting names. And then last we have our one little girl. She has a little soul patch, has little white cheeks. And her name is Liv. It's spelled L-I-V, so you might pronounce it Liv, that's fine. But in Danish, it's the word that means life, and it's pronounced Liv.
So the theme of these are the little warriors. The wanted names that represented strength and life and power and fighters as they grow up here and start feeling better, start getting stronger. Um, they are just a week old. Um, we only have two kittens who have their eyes open. The other two still haven't opened their eyes yet. And um, unfortunately, Leaf has uh, infection in both of her eyes. So we're taking care of that. Um, but her eyes um, do require medication. She picked up some kind of debris and germs from being outdoors. I can't say exactly how long they were without their mom. Um, I don't know the details of their rescue. Um, just that, you know, they were orphaned and um, it sounds like they were at least by themselves in a pretty heavy rainstorm that we had here the night before they were rescued. Um, and so they are skinny and they do seem underweight for their age. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll be fattening them up and um, hopefully they can thrive here inside our incubator. The plan is that they will stay in the incubator until they're at least three weeks old. They do need a two week quarantine before they're introduced to any other cats or kittens. That's a policy that we hold for the safety of um, all the fosters here. So, um, right around the time that their two week quarantine is up, as long as they don't have any signs of illness during that time and they seem healthy, they'll have received um, a dose of dewormer at that point. And of course they'll be flea free at that point. Um, the plan is to introduce them to the stories next door in the playroom. The stories are about, uh, um, I forget if it's two or three weeks, but I think it's two weeks older. And um, I don't expect that at that point that these kittens will nurse from Winnie and Alice. Um, they'll have forgotten how to do that, um, which happens with bottle babies. Um, but they could, certainly benefit from being groomed by them, um, having more litter mates around to play with and to learn um, how to play nicely. And they'll, you know, they can learn how to eat and use the bathroom or use the litter box. <laughs> they don't use the bathroom. <laughs> um, so, um, so hopefully we can make that happen. But in the meantime, they'll be set up here for at least the next two weeks in our incubator. And um, they'll be sharing the live stream. They're in the nursery with um, Lily and, the, and her two flowers. Um, of course, they're separated. They're not interacting with each other, but um, they're in the same room. So our live cam, um, switches back and forth between a view of these guys and then um, the view of the whole room with the flowers and Lily. So I hope that you'll join us in 
watching them grow during their stay with us and welcome little warriors. So that will be clipped, thanks to Luna, and shared on the channel. 